Okay, so we move on to question three, and um, this question is about the age of somebody found in a peat bog in Ireland. So here, over here, is a photo uh, I got of somebody who unfortunately died, and um, by falling into a peat bog, I suppose. So let's have a look at what we've got to do. Um, another ancient human was found in a peat bog in Ireland. You're given a 20 gram sample, which has an activity of four grams. Okay, so from this, we have somebody gives us a 20 gram sample, and this has a radiation activity of four bits of radioactivity uh, per 60 seconds per minute. Now, we're also told, and uh, a 10 gram sample of somebody alive, so somebody alive today um, would have, if we could take a 10 gram sample from them, uh, that would have an activity of eight counts per minute. Now the first thing with this question is you have to spot that you're getting a larger sample from the peat bog uh, corpse uh, than from a living, living person. So we're going to equalize that up uh, right now before we go any further. Okay, So we can either scale this up to 20 grams uh, and this then would give off twice as much radiation because there's twice as much stuff there uh, and that would be 16 counts per minute. Or we could scale this down, and we could say, well, that's the same as 10 grams if we half that, and that would give us uh, a radiation of 2 counts per minute. It doesn't really matter which way we go. Um, I'm probably going to stick with um, the second one. So we've got uh, a nice comparison between this, 10 grams of the person in the peat bog gives us two counts per minute of radiation, and 10 grams of a living person gives us uh, eight counts per minute here. So how old is the man from the bog? Well, we can do it two ways. Compared to a living person today, uh, that two comes and becomes the numerator in this fraction here, compared to the eight counts per minute from somebody who's alive today. And that would give us uh, our percentage, okay, and we could use the graph to uh, basically um, find that percentage and read it off. So 2 divided by 8, which is clearly a quarter, uh, times 100. Okay, now that gives us 25%. Uh, so we could say, uh, do it this way, we could come down from here and come all the way down to about 25. Okay, and then we can go across and then down. And this gives us a time uh, that this person stopped living uh, between 10 and 12,000 years, maybe about 11,000 years, something like that. We could also do it a second way, uh, as we saw in the previous example, and we simply do this. Okay, uh, the living person, if they died, how long would it be before they had the same activity that we see over here? Well, in one half-life, it's going to be four counts per minute. In a second half-life has gone by, then it goes down by another half to two counts per minute. And that's exactly what that is up there. So we know that there's one, two half-lives. Now if one half-life for radioactive carbon-14 is 5,800 years, okay, then we pretty much are there times it by 2, and we have 11,400 years, which ties in with this.